Welcome to the Sin Zhao Seneschal of Demacia Sneak Peek Champion Spotlight, presented by Riot Games. Sin Zhao can be played as a tank or melee DPS, but the build I chose for this spotlight is a jungling tank build. First, let's demonstrate his various abilities. His first spell is Three Talon Strike. You get a buff, causing your next three attacks to deal bonus damage. The third attack will knock your opponent into the air, disabling him for a short time. Second is Battle Cry, giving you attack speed passively and a bonus when activated. While Battle Cry is in its active state, every attack he makes lowers the cooldowns of his other abilities by one second. Battle Cry has great synergy with his first skill, since you can quickly refresh the cooldown and use the attack speed to knock your opponents up faster. Next, Sin Zhao can cast Audacious Charge, which quickly dashes to an enemy, dealing damage and briefly slowing the movement of the target and nearby foes. Sin Zhao's ultimate is Crescent Sweep. It's a simple low cooldown ultimate that deals heavy damage in an area around him, hitting for a percentage of each target's current health plus a base amount. Additionally, Sin Zhao gains armor and magic resist for a short time. His passive is Tireless Warrior, which heals Sin Zhao on every third attack he makes. My rune page has attack speed marks, which empower his first two skills, and standard tank runes, dodge seals, flat magic resist glyphs, and flat health quintessences. My masteries follow 9210, improved smite and physical damage talents in offense, with standard jungling masteries in defense. I take smite and flash as summoner spells, which allows me to jungle and escape or initiate fights easier. Start out jungling at the golem with three talon strike, an elixir of agility, and five health potions. Finish the wolf camp just below, learning battle cry. Afterwards, you'll have Smite up just in time to finish the Lizard Camp at around 3 minutes 40 seconds, less than 2 minutes to acquire both buffs and start ganking. I learn Audacious Charge, which allows me to quickly close the distance to gank. Immediately after acquiring both buffs, gank mid or bottom. With both bottom champions significantly pushed up, I'm able to easily close distance behind Ramis. Notice that I save Audacious Charge for his inevitable escape attempt. I head to gank mid afterwards. I probably could have killed Dr. Mundo, but I make the mistake of flashing while still exhausted. Instead, I could have waited for the exhaust to time out and just flashed into the brush to kill him. I dive Malzahar at top with my teammate Alistair. Here's an incredibly important trick to use with Sin Zhao. Audacious Charge slows in an area around the target you choose. While I'm not in range of Malzahar, the purple caster minion is. The slow allows me to land 3 Talon Strike, which lets Alistair catch up as well. Later in the game, I head to gank Malzahar in mid. Notice that I run to cut him off as opposed to following him like Nasus did. If you can, always chase an enemy through multiple paths. As Malzahar flashes away from Nasus, I'm already in range to kill him. I head to kill Dragon with my team. While our opponents gank us, I know that I can quickly kill it with Smite. Also, Dragon is worth about 2 champion kills in gold and experience, so if you can spare the time, make the effort to finish it off. From there, I simply choose the weakest targets first. Dr. Mundo, then Morgana, then Ramus with 3 Talon Strike, and finally Malphite with Audacious Charge. We start a large fight near mid lane. Crescent Sweep and 3 Talon Strike evaporate Morgana and Dr. Mundo. After disabling Ramus with 3 Talon Strike, I retreat away from Malphite with Flash. I then notice that both Malzahar and Annie are running out of mana, so I dive back in knowing that I need to help get the kill but also that Malzahar has no chance of killing me back. Nasus and I attempt to gank Morgana and Dr. Mundo in their jungle. However, we make the grave mistake of sticking around way too long. The rest of our team is nowhere nearby, while our enemies just pile on top of us to save their friends. When fighting in enemy territory, you need to know when to retreat. 
We get ganked while attempting to kill Baron Nasher. I use Audacious Charge to slow him for my team, and wait to use Crescent Sweep until I can hit at least two targets. I help keep Malzahar disabled with three Talon Strike. As we chase our opponents across the map, I flash to use Randuin's Omen, letting us catch up to Malphite a little bit easier. Malphite initiates on us, but I don't take the bait. I wait for Morgana to enter the picture, jump on her with Audacious Charge, Crescent Sweep, and then finish the deal with 3 Talon Strike. Turning on Battlecry, I head for Dr. Mundo, and keep him slowed with Audacious Charge. As Ramus tries to get away, I keep him pinned with 3 Talon Strike, and then charge as soon as it's ready. Thanks for tuning in to the Sinjiao Champion Spotlight. Pick him up soon and head to the arena.